What's going on, Alice? Nigeria here from Big Go Belt Media. It's a pleasure to talk to you as always. How you feeling? I'm good. Yes. Always nice to see you as well. You, oh man, listen, Josefina Morales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we talked a little bit on the red carpet and now being able to see episode two, um, so many more questions because the one question I asked you, which you completely denied on the carpet was, is it love? And now <laughs> we see, as I, as I said, with Effie, her, you know, her focus has always been about family, but yet her focus on the education we see now she's ramping up to us to attend a Stanford for to be an engineer, which I completely commend because we need to see more women in engineering. So I'm like, yes, Effie, go do what you got to yeah, do. Absolutely. <laughs> But then she gets to a point where Kane comes into play and then when she has a very important meeting um, in order to make those dreams come true, where de she decides to pick Kane. So I ask you once again, is it love? And and what does Kane signify for her? Why is why has Kane become priority over everything? Even in the eye of danger as well. Seeing yeah. the Russians again, you're like, yeah, I got you. No problem. What, what is I it know. about Kane? Oh, gosh. Um, I think she's in really deep. She's in she's she's in very deep into the street life and she doesn't want to be. And I think that she does know the severity of all the happenings around her. I definitely think that her and Kane have a super complex relationship, right? Like it's is it love? I don't I not really. It is a connection and it, there's definitely a physical connection and an understanding that they have with each other, because I feel like they both possess a lot of the same qualities but um as far as to say it's love I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see what, what goes <laughs> on between them <laughs> I know the F is good for switching it up so we, we're just gonna have to see <laughs> <laughs> well does it does it mean anything of Kane calling her Josephine I mean everybody calls her Effie and you, we all know anybody gets called out by the government name that either means you're in trouble or you got special right. privileges what, what does it right. mean when Kane drops Josephina I think Effie has, Kane is a super hard character. He's a super hard character. And I think he's kind of like Effie in the sense that, you know, it's not, it's not easy to break those walls down. He's not necessarily a monster. I think that he does have a really, really huge heart if you can find her way in. And I think that's what she's done is she's kind of working her way into his sweet center. And I think that's just kind of a, way to show that they have comfort with each other now i think that's that's what they are right now is each other's comfort places i've been known and i've been i've been recognizing a theme across some television shows and is it safe to say that effie finds a sense of peace in kane because she feels she can fix him uh oh gosh maybe um because they're both messed up <laughs> they're both messed up so <laughs> maybe so but i also think like because she's so hell bent on survivor, uh, su survival, um, and being a survivor, she feels safe with him to a certain extent. Like if there's one person that's able to bust any door down, to bust anyone's head, it's gonna be Kane. And I think that she's really able to just like kind of let her hair down and be a woman and be feminine and be like mm. it in some of these scenes, she does feel safe to like give him those soft, gentle touches first and and not necessarily like he's not expecting anything from her for doing that. They just really like each other. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it's more like that. She feels she feels safe with him. OK, two times like, in the face. They're not in love. I'm like, oh, they're comfort. They're safe. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll, we'll run it back in a couple of weeks. if We got to we'll we'll get an answer one way or another. Um, yes. she looks evil in the eyes twice, goes to see the Russians twice, goes to Noma and, 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 and calls her shot, demanding more money. Um, mm -hmm. and even to a point where she's in front of Monet. And, and, and I think it was also a very interesting moment between her seeming to care for Monet after she had her little episode, but nonetheless, yeah. where does Effie tap into for this bold of confidence? Where, where, where is she channeling that from? I think... It, she's she's a risk taker because she knows with big risk comes big reward. And that's mm. ultimately what she's in it for is to get that big reward so she can get out of town. Like she does not want to be doing this anymore. So like the quicker that she can get to those means of being able to provide for herself and still keep the lifestyle that she wants. I think a lot of times too, when people um, like 
saying that Effie is a survivor. They think that she just wants money to be able to just get out. But I think there's also a, a layer to her that like she doesn't just want to get out. She wants to get out and to be able to provide that lifestyle yeah. that, you know, just to be comfortable because she's come from nothing. She's never had anything over the bare minimum. So I think there's a little place in her that wants like to just be comfortable. Like I don't have to worry about anything right now. Don't we all final question for you really quickly. I, did you, Alex, did you <laughs> think that Effie's sort of peace treaty with Tariq in terms of alerting him about Kane suffices for them to make up after everything that happened at the finale of last, last uh, season? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, like if somebody's shooting at me and you tell me, sorry, Oh, you got to do a little bit better than that. I mean, it's like, I tried to take your life and then I tried to save it. I feel like that's, that's like just literally doing the bare minimum. So no, that, that, that poor professor was sitting here trying to teach some education with all these killers in there. You talk about, are we cool? I mean, I tried to keep, but are we cool? Like the I'm audacity cool. girl. The audacity. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, once again, it's always a pleasure to talk to you over yeah. the years and just seeing you grow and mature as a woman and everything that you stand for and, and everything that you built with Effie has been a complete honor. And hopefully we get to talk again very soon. And if it ain't on power, it will certainly be on a future project because I know you're going to get back to work. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Always nice talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the time. Bye.